Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Shit I Wanna Read This Month. Let's just jump right into it. So January ended up being a pretty successful month for me. I ended up reading 14 books, which is huge. I am so proud of that. Uh, and I wanna keep those vibes going in February. So I'm participating in a lot of different like readathons and challenges and um, like book club picks and things like that. So I do wanna stay motivated without burning myself out. So hopefully that works out in February and I don't end up burning myself out. Might as well start right off with the Stacks of Strange book club pick for February. This is a book club I put together where me and some of my friends read some weird books and it's a lot of fun. I will leave all the details down below. If you don't know about it, it's great. We have such a great time. So the book that we ended up choosing was What Big Teeth by Rose Zabo. This is a young adult horror novel. It involves a teen girl who is estranged from her family. She is attending this boarding school. Something mysterious, something horrifying happens and she returns home. There's some really weird stuff going on within this household. I don't know. It just sounds perfect for this book club and uh, we all really wanted to read it. This book is going to be released on February 2nd but our live show isn't until March 4th so you have plenty of time to get the book and read it. Check it out from your library, whatever you can do. It's a pretty short book and it's young adult so it's bound to be a quick read. Next I want to continue participating in the book troupe which is Gabby's book club and this month the book club pick is The Wrong Family by Taryn Fisher. So I did read The Wives by Taryn Fisher and I ended up giving it maybe two and a half or three stars. I can't exactly remember right now, but I do know that I very much enjoyed this book at the very beginning and then it took a weird turn halfway through and just the book was ruined after that for me. That seems to be the consensus with a lot of people. I was definitely not the only one who thought that but I'm still very much interested in reading more Taryn Fisher. So having this be a book club pick, I figure why not? I will totally read anything that Gabby says to read. So yeah. I do know that Chanel from Chanel Time is going to be part of the live show for this, which I'm really excited because I just love her and I can't wait to see what she thinks. Next, I am participating in Buzzwordathon, which is a challenge that was created by Kayla at Books and Lala. This involves a buzzword each month. You guys know what Buzzwordathon is. I don't really have to explain it too much, but it is like the first through seventh day of each month. Kayla picks a buzzword or a theme and you have to read books that correlate with that theme or have that buzzword in the title. And so yeah, I have been participating. Last month the word was dream and I read in the dream house. This month the theme is a color. So you have to read a book with a color in the title. So for that I decided to read Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Very excited about this one. I know a lot of people who have started this series have continued on with this series and ended up really loving it. So I've been dying to get around to the series for a very long time and I'm excited to finally be starting it. I don't even think the first book is all that long um, considering there's probably a lot of world building that goes into it. This is like an adult sci-fi that involves people who are different colors and different hierarchies in this society. It's like a futuristic society where everyone lives on Mars and there are like red people and gold people and gray people and the red people are essentially just like the lower class. So Robin has decided to join us. Hello! Mmm, mm, cookie. So next, I will be participating in Blackathon this month, but I will be participating during the week of vlogging. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try and complete all of the challenges within the week and then post a reading vlog at the end of the week of the books that I read. So, um... <laughs> 
if you guys don't already know, Blackathon was created by Jesse over at Bow Ties and Books. They have put together this very elaborate like readathon. This year, Blackathon is being divided up into three teams. I know that there is like sci-fi fantasy, contemporary nonfiction, and horror thriller. So obviously, I'm going to be participating in horror thriller, but I will be leaving all the details down below for Jesse's readathon. You can check out what they have in store. It's pretty freaking awesome and very elaborate. A lot goes into it. I just personally don't have the time to complete all of the challenges, but if you do, I highly recommend you check it out because it's very, very cool. So Jesse will be leading the horror thriller team for YouTube and then Chanel and Nina will be leading the horror thriller team for Instagram. So there are YouTube challenges, Instagram challenges. Like I said, it's very elaborate and check it all out down below. Thank you. She's handing me things while I'm doing this. So wow, thank you. What do you have? So yeah, like I said, I'm obviously very distracted, but um, all the details will be down below for Blackathon. I'm just very, very excited to participate and um, for all the books that I'm going to be reading for it. So let's just jump right into the challenges, shall we? Uh, there are four challenges for Blackathon for each of the different teams. Um, the horror and thriller challenges are Megan Giddings, a black character moves to a new town with an old secret. So the book that I've decided that I want to read for this challenge is going to be The Quiet Ones by Brandon Massey. I was actually supposed to read a book called Nana by Brandon Massey back in, I think it was like the end of December for another book club that I had joined. Um, and I just didn't get around to it, which I'm really sad about because I really did want to read something by this author. Well, I ended up finding this book and it kind of fits the prompt. So I'm gonna read it. So this book involves two sisters who after their mother is brutally murdered, they are forced into the foster care system, but they are split up and they move <laughs> to different towns with different families. And I'm just really excited to see where this one goes. From what it sounds to me, it sounds like one of the sisters might end up like involved in some sort of cult or something. Like, I don't know, just this family that she ends up with sounds really freaking weird and I'm ready to read it. The next prompt is Victor Laval, Paranormal or Supernatural Horror. So I have read The Ballad of Black Tom as well as Victor Laval's first um, volume in the Destroyer series and enjoyed both of them. So I would love to read another Victor Laval book. So for this, I would like to read Big Machine. Uh, this is a book that follows a man who is the only survivor of a suicide cult. Obviously there's like a weird running theme with the books that I have decided to read for this, but um, it sounds really good. It also sounds really, really weird. Um, and it's fairly short, so I think it's definitely doable for the readathon. The next prompt is Rachel Housel, taking place on vacation, sabbatical, or decadent setting. So for this one, I really want to read Grown by Tiffany G. Jackson. I know that this involves a woman who's kind of like thrust into the life of the rich and famous, and it's kind of like based off of like the R. Kelly situation. And I feel like it kind of works for the prompt since it's a decadent setting, technically. Like she's kind of in this like celebrity Hollywood world, you know? So I'm hoping that that kind of works for it but, because I really, really want to read it. I loved Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany G. Jackson. I want to read more books by her. So I think this one just like it's perfect for right now. Next is the group book, Wife of the Gods by Quay Corte. I know this book is set in Ghana and it follows a man who investigates the murder of a young medical student. Can't wait to read it. I know that there are also like movie watch alongs that are happening as part of like the readathon as well. So I don't know, I might hop into like some of those, especially like the horror one. 
really excited. So let me know down below if you guys are planning to participate as well. There are a few other books that I would like to get around to this month that I'm really excited about, such as The Patient by Jasper DeWitt. I've heard really great things about this one. This is a pretty short horror novel. It's also set in Connecticut. So if you don't already know, I've been participating in this like 50 horror books, 50 states challenge that was created by Joanne over at Jobus89. Uh, she has a blog. She posted all about this challenge on her blog but basically you just pick horror books that are set in specific states and you want to read a horror book from each of the 50 states. I have the template highlighted in my Instagram stories. I will leave down below like Joanne's blog post and um, the creator of the template which is really really cool. It's going to be very satisfying filling these in. I've like read three books for this challenge so far and it's been a lot of fun so I do not have Connecticut. I would like to get Connecticut to get it. I would have to read this so obviously that's what I'm gonna do. Next I would also surprisingly really like to read The X Talk by Rachel Solomon. I know this is like a romance and it's not typically a genre that I pick up but on the rare occasion I do like to try them out especially if one just sounds really really good to me and I'm hearing great things about it. I'm gonna try to get my hands on it so that I can read it because it just sounds like it's gonna be really good. So this story follows a woman named Shay who works for this radio station and they're not doing so great ratings wise. So Shay proposes this plan to start a segment where her and her ex get together live on air and give relationship advice. So um, I don't know, it just sounds really cool and unique and just fun and everyone that's been reading it has been enjoying it and loving it. And I, I just really want to read this one. I, I just don't want to miss out. So another personal challenge of mine is to try and read at least one book of the month book each month. I don't want to get behind on my book of the month books. Um, I typically at least try to get one book per month from them. Sometimes I'll get multiples and I will sometimes just not read one at all. So I really hate that and I would like to just kind of keep up with reading at least one each month and maybe um, get all my book of the month books read because it is a service I pay for so it's like I just feel like I need to read these books and a lot of the time they're really good books. So the one that I would really like to get around to this month is A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrate. Um, all I really know is that this is like a legal thriller but I actually skipped the month that this was a book of the month choice and then I instantly regretted it because a lot of people were saying how much they love this book. And while I enjoy legal thrillers, I just hadn't really heard anything about this one so I wasn't really interested, too interested in reading it and it felt to me like it wasn't anything that hadn't been done before. So um, yeah, as soon as I heard about it and everyone was loving it, I had to just go ahead and add it on um, and I want to finally read it. So I do tend to like um, thrillers that are set in like a courtroom setting. I typically enjoy those so I'm hoping that I like this one as well. And last but not least I would love to read Let the Right One In. This is like a horror romance novel that involves like a young girl that's a vampire I believe. Um, but it's a book that I've been dying to get to for years. I know there are movie adaptations that I want to see and I feel like I'm going to need to read this if I want to watch those and I really want to watch those adaptations. I've heard some of them are really good so um I definitely want to read this. Hopefully it will be happening and uh yeah I don't know hopefully I love it. And that's everything that is what I would love to read in February. Hopefully I can get to all of them. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you think that I will like any of them. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hello, it's me again. I forgot to mention that I am hosting a Horror in 24 readathon that's going to be happening from February 18th to the 21st and that's going to be with Crystal, Marcy, and Carol. 
Um, we haven't done a horror in 24 thing in a while, so we figured just like a 24 hour weekend readathon would be great. It's a great motivator to like get us reading some horror books. And um, that's pretty much when I'm going to be like reading um, The Quiet Ones by Brandon Massey. It's going to overlap a little bit with uh, Blackathon. And then I'm going to be reading The Patient by Jasper DeWitt for this as well. And if I can, I'm going to sneak in a book that I have for a secret TBR that I have going out this month. So um, I'm going to be working on it this month and hopefully I can get all the books read for that and then have that secret TBR video ready for you guys at the end of the month. So look out for that. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> but that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.